Hey guys, it's Nadia from Leah D Designs and I'm back with another flower video. Um, so we're going to do part two of the testing designs with um, pouring flowers. So um, this time we're going to start the same way. So we're going to start with um, mixing up our resin and the first uh, couple ounces we're going to take and we're going to add, we added some glitter to it just to put around the edges and then the rest we're going to put in the center. So overall um these coasters that i'm the coaster molds that i'm using here take about two and a half ounces of resin each so i mixed up enough resin so that i can pour into each one of them um once we do that we're going to um going to get all the bubbles out and then we need to add the center foils so the pigments i'm going to be using today um, we're not last time we used pink and white this time we're not going to be using um, any white. We're going to be trying only with um, some pigment pastes in three different colors. I have a purple, a gold, and kind of like a turquoise color. And everything got mixed up at the same time in terms of the resin. I'm using a one-to-one -one resin by Crystal Resin. And I mixed in the, I mixed up the, um, the glitter and each of the pigment colors at the same time. So all the resin um, has the same timing on it after we get the bubbles out and we add in our center um, foils we're going to then let the resin sit and for this one we normally let it sit for about 25 minutes for this particular test this time I actually was working on something else at the same time and almost passed the window that I needed to actually wait for these so you'll see that um, when I get to actually starting to add the pigments um, I had to work super fast and I actually thought that this project wasn't going to work out because I thought I actually had missed the window. Luckily that wasn't the case, but um, you'll actually kind of see how thick the resin is later when I actually um, am adding the pigment in. So while I was waiting, I actually had the pigment added to these little Ziploc bags and you'll see how quickly I'm actually trying to pour here. So it's not definitely not going to be perfect swirls or anything like that. I'm the resin was actually getting quite hot in the, even in the little bags. So I was trying to work very quickly so that I wouldn't actually um, have the resin kind of solidify on me. And then all of these would have been uh, basically <laughs> just samples that, uh, to remind me not to wait that long but um, in any case it did happen that I was just able to catch um, the resin before it got uh, too thick so I quickly again I added the purple and now I'm adding the gold and I'm doing swirl patterns for the first three and then the last one I decided to do almost kind of a squiggly almost a petal type swirl so this way to see if that would turn out any different and the last color I'm adding is the turquoise. And again, it looks um, very, it looks a little bit dark on the screen here, but um, it is actually going to be turquoise that you'll see at the end. So again, just adding in some swirls. Um, if I had done this about five minutes earlier, I would have been able to have a bit more time to make those swirls a little bit neater, but um, it is what it is at this point. So just trying to make sure we actually had something to work with. So I take my paintbrush and just like before, going in and adding in some lines um, to just see if we can get some nice petal shapes. And you can see how thick the resin is here, guys. Like just look at it, how the paintbrush is going through. It's literally like you can see the resin is actually dragging. It's so thick. So I'm trying a couple different um, ideas here of dragging the brush in one direction and then the other, see if that's going to make a difference for these petals. Um, for this one here, again, I'm going to do two directions. I'm going to do mostly in an outward direction on these, as you'll see later. And then this one with the squiggles, we're still going to go in with our brush and add some lines to see if we can get those to look more petal-like.
After another minute, I decided I, I wanted to add some more detail to this one here. So took my turquoise and I wanted to add in some little lines to see how that would affect the look as well. Again, the resin was quite warm and I was really kind of pushing my luck here, but um, <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. So um, anyway, so just adding in some more details here and then I'm going to pick up my paintbrush and add in a few more lines as well. And then uh, once that's done, I'm going to leave these to set um, for about four or five hours. Um, I was doing this during the day, so normally I would leave it overnight, but I was um, a little bit too excited to see how these turned out. So I only waited about four or five hours, which is um, enough that the resin was solid, but not completely hard. So you'll see when I'm unmolding these that uh, they're a little bit on the softer side. But in any case, it will... Um, we're just going to get these lines in and then we'll let them sit and we'll see how they look when they get unmolded. All right, like I said, so it's been about four or five hours and I'm going to get these out just because I'm super excited to see how they look from the back. They look pretty cool and um, I couldn't tell you how happy I was because, again, I thought that these were going to be a complete fail, but they actually ended up working out um, better than expected. So, struggling with to get it out of the mold, but there we go. Flip it over. And I think out of the four, actually, this one turned out to be my favorite one for sure. So, I really like how this one looked. It had more of an organic look to it for sure. Um, this one here, as probably many of you expected this one turned out looking more like a spider web um, which was again really cool I love how the colors um, you know spread but didn't blend so um, that was a really cool effect this one is the one where we alternated um, in inner brush strokes and outer brush strokes and we added those extra lines which I think actually really looks cool as well and then the last one is similar to um, the same pattern we did in the first video where we just mostly did the swirl and then we moved all of the brush strokes inward to make it look um, like flower petals so again this one turned out very nice as well and again um, the colors are just so cool we were debating if it was should be considered peacocks or a peacock theme or if it should be a mardi gras theme i think it really could work for either Anyways, I hope you guys like this video and that if you do, you'll like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.